The most common pitfall that I was doing for a long time is you just don't really know what you're supposed to do. You just take a template, you look at someone else's resume, you write your life story, and you never pause for a second to think, who am I writing this and what is my goal? I never asked this question, but you should ask your question. What is the goal of your resume? There is only one good answer to this, and most people don't know. The goal of your resume is to get a recruiter call. It's a binary yes or no. That is the goal. As soon as you have your recruiter call, your resume doesn't really matter that much. That means you're now at the next stage of the process. What matters is what you interact with the recruiter. You can then give them additional context, and then that recruiter or hiring manager, so that first call, they're going to decide, are you going to come on site? Now, typically after your resume, they're going to confirm some soft skills, can you communicate, that kind of stuff. But once you're on site, your resume is irrelevant. The reason I say that most people don't know this, because if this is the goal, then if you apply to three different jobs, you should be sending three different resumes because every one of them, you should tweak a little bit for that job. If your goal is to get that call, you should optimize for that and you should tweak your resume a little bit for each of them. You should read the job description and reflect there. And this is why about the first third of the book is not about the resume. It's about telling you how the hiring process works. You need to sell yourself in the resume. It's, it's a bit of a sales pitch. But most developers are not good at selling themselves. And for better or worse, I don't like that the system works like this, but this is how it works. It is a bit of a sales pitch and it's for that specific position. So that's the key takeaway of the book. And all the examples are just showing on how to talk about your impact, how to reflect on a job description. If a job is talking about distributed systems or if another job is talking about building web products, you probably mirror a little bit of the language to make it clear that you are capable of doing this job. So that's the main takeaway.